Hey hey, my name's Nathan, this is Robot Masters. So, we got a really cool robot vacuum today. This is the Lambot A1. I've had this guy for about three months now. I've been using it extensively for about a month, so I know exactly what's going on with this little guy. Alright, let's go ahead and do this awesome review. And of course, I'll put the cleaning test towards the end. So if you're interested in how well this guy picks up, watch towards the end of the video. Alright, let's go ahead and get started with Lambot A1. First of all, this guy likes to tell you what's up. So if I lift him up, as you can see, he's spinning his light on. Can you guys see that? And he's beeping at me. So he does not like to be held, but it's okay. He's a robot vacuum, not a handheld something. First of all, Amazon.com. I'll put the little link below. It's running a great special on this guy for about $20 and $50. So, I'm in an affiliate marketing program, so if you click on its link down below, I do earn a small commission, but it really helps out this small channel, and if you want to get this guy for about $250, it's a great deal, because originally, I think I paid close to $370 for this guy, so I'm saving about $100 or so more off the land by A1. Let's go ahead and talk about its features. First of all, this guy has a lot of great features up its sleeve. It has nine different cleaning patterns. Um, you got keep out zones, you got area select, you also have grid pattern, which basically does both the back and forth and side to side sweeping pattern, which is new to a lot of these robot vacuum, where they just stick with one clean pattern. You also have drawing abilities, uh, you also have zone cleaning. So, in front here we have a sonar sensor, great for detecting small objects or clear objects, kind of like glass or like glass windows or panes because what's happened is with LiDAR sensors or with infrared sensors that a lot of common robot vacuums use, they kind of struggle with that. Okay, one nice thing about the Lamba is I like it's a top opening bin. This dustbin, very nice. The filter is really good and it does pick up a lot of dirt debris. I usually have to empty out once a week. Okay, so this is your standard LiDAR sensor, nothing too fancy about it. One thing I did notice is it does not have a pressure sensor, kind of like on the Roborock S6. Let me go ahead and get that for you. These robot vacuums have these humps. If they're using LiDAR, it's important to have some type of sensor. Unfortunately, this guy does not have that bump sensor. Let's have a quick look at the styling here. Nothing too fancy, it's like a creamy white. Um, not like a high glossy white like on the Roblox S6, but I think it's passable. I'll give it about a 3 out of a 10, not the greatest looking robot vacuum out there. I do like that they added the company logo right there, kind of looks like a transformer, very very nice. Alright, let's go ahead and look at the back of the robot. You got your charging contacts, here you got your exhaust vent, and here's your speaker, very very nice. The speaker gets very loud, so I can definitely hear across the room. So one nice thing about the robot is it can dock from behind like this. What is great about it is it can maneuver in tight areas. So you can actually put this charge in a very small area. The robot vacuum has no problem maneuvering around these tight areas. Very, very nice. Alright, let's go ahead and talk about the charging base. Pretty simple, nothing too fancy. Okay, I do like they added a uh, cover for the wrapping of the cables. Very clean look. And the base itself has some weight. Here's the nameplate, accepts 100 to 240 volts, so it works overseas no problem. Okay, I do like the fact that you could wrap your cable around, you can have it come this way or this way. And once you're done wrapping, you just kind of clip it in, and the cover snaps right back in, very simple. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the side of the robot. One nice thing is this has a dedicated wall sensor, similar to the S6. And if we flip this guy around, but I just go over the basic components. You got your drive wheels, you got your nameplate, you got your combo style extractor bar, you got both bristles and silicone, very nice. You also have dual side brushes, you can find a caster wheel, and right here is an easy access port to change out the battery if you ever need to. Very, very cool, not too fancy, and you have four clip sensors to prevent the robot from falling down the stairs. 
One thing I would note is that the wheels are a little small, so the robot will struggle with like high threshold areas. Another thing is the side brushes do get beat up a little bit. They still work, but just keep in mind that if they get tangled up, you may have to replace your side brushes. Okay, so here's a quick look at the cleaning pattern of the Lambot A1. You have a lot of different options. You can do spot cleaning, you can do a Z pattern, which I have set up today. So what the robot's going to do is start with the perimeter sweep. Then it does its normal back and forth cleaning pattern, like on most robot vacuums. Also, this guy will do a secondary pattern where it will do a back and forth cleaning pattern going the other direction. Very nice. I find this is very efficient. And you can have this robot do up to four different times. Okay, let me go ahead and show you the app. Uh, basically, I just did an area select, but I'll pop up on the screen the Z pattern. As you can see, I'll get this guy in focus here. You can see it went one way, and now it's going to go the other direction. Kind of like if you're going to mow your lawn in nice little stripes. So, I will give prompts to Lambot A1, or the company called Lambot. Basically, they've been aggressively pushing updates, which has made this robot vacuum a lot better. It's more reliable, and the navigation's been improved. I'm glad that the company's supports this product. So if you like this style of video, please smash the like button. Helps me gauge if this video is popular or not. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Nathan. This is Robot Masters. I do a lot of crazy challenges, head-to-heads, unboxings, overviews. I do tear-ups, tear-downs. You name it, I do everything with robot vacuums. And I'll be getting new robot vacuums soon on this channel. I'm also working with some great partnerships with some great companies, so stay tuned for some more robot vacuums. And this was just a quick look at the Lambot A1 and its review. I think I highly recommend it, just for the price. At $250, you cannot beat it. So, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time.